Hello and welcome to all my dear students. I am Mrs. Sheetal Chauhan from New Catholic Mission School, Chhapwa. I am here to teach you maths of class 8th. Today I am starting with chapter 2 and the name of the chapter is Linear Equations in One Variable. So first I want to give you introduction of this chapter. So uh, before getting the name of the chapter, first we will discuss some topics which you have discussed in your previous classes. For example, variables, constant, expressions, equations. Okay. So first we talk about variable. What is variable? Variables, it means any alphabets like A, B, C, X, Y, Z and so on. So all the alphabets are denoted as variables and their values are not fixed. It is change according to the question means in different question the value of variable is different. Okay and we have to find the value of variables. Then next one is constant. Constant are numbers. Numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So any numbers are denoted as constant and the value of constant are fixed. It is not changed. Next one is expressions. What are expressions? We are not talking about facial expressions. We are talking about maths expression. Expressions in maths are like x plus 4. So this x plus 4 is an expression because it contains terms. Okay. So this is an expression. Now next one is equations. What is equation? So equation is like y plus 4 equal 7. So this is an equation. Why? Because it has an equality sign. Yaha par kya hai? Equal to ka sign. So equation contain equal to sign. And it has two part. The This part is left side of the equal sign that is LHS. And this part is on the right side of equal to sign. So this is known as RHS. So what is the difference in expression and equation? In expression there is no equality sign. But in equation there is equality sign. Okay. So now let us come to the topic name that is linear equations. So what is linear equation? So linear that means for example, if I take x square plus 2x plus 6 equal 9. So this is also an equation. Ye bhi kya hai ek equation because it contain equal to sign. But this is not linear equation. Why? Because its power is 2. Agar power 1 se jada hai, then it is not linear. But if I write z plus 3, equal 9. So this is a linear equation because here highest power of the variable is 1. Means if the power of the variable is 1 then it is linear equation. But if the power of the variable is more than 1, it is 2, it, if it is 3 then it is not linear equation. It is equation but it is not linear equation. So which are the linear equation? y plus 4 equals 7, z plus 3 equal 9. This is linear equations. Now linear equations in one variable. Now the name of the chapter is this. So first we clear it. What is linear equations? We clear it. Now one variable. That means our equation contain only one variable. For example, z plus 3 equal 9. So here what is the variable? Here variable is 
z only one variable similarly here the variable is only y that means this equation contain only one variable so linear equation in one variable it means an equation equation matlab equal to sign is must equal to sign hona zaruri hai so an equation which contain highest power of the variable should be 1 not more than 1 okay so an equation which contain only one variable and the power of the variable is 1 then this type of equation is linear equation but it doesn't mean ki variable sirf ek hi bar aaye it can comes two time also like z plus 2 equal 2z minus 3 is it equation yes is it linear yes it is linear equation because here variable is z both side z is there and highest power of z is 1 z ki highest power bhi 1 hai z comes here two times there is no problem variable comes two times three times but the highest power of the variable should be 1 so i think you have clear the concept of linear equation means an equation which have one variable and the highest power of the variable is 1 so this type of equation is known as linear equations so this was the short introduction about the linear equation now let's come to the towards the topic so let's see its first topic first topic we discussed here how to solve an equation okay now solving an equation so how we can solve the equation when variable is on one side okay now for this let's see one example for example 2x minus 4 equal 8 this is an equation yes this is a linear equation तो यहाँ आपको क्या देखना है हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन इक्वेशन वी हैव टू सॉल्व इट मीन्स वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएबल वेरिएबल की वैल्यू को हमको फाइंड करना है ओके सो हियर दिस इक्वेशन कैन बी सॉल्व बाय टू मेथड्स सो आई एक्सप्लेन यू बोथ द मेथड विच यू फील इजियर यू कैन यूज इट सो फर्स्ट मैथड इन फर्स्ट मैथड वॉट वी आर डूइंग हियर we have to see that it has two part this part is lhs and this is rhs so here variable is only on one side so where variable is present here variable is on left hand side that means x so here x value we have to find okay so how we can find it first we have to remove all the constant constant means numbers 2 4 and 8 these are the constant so constant you have to remove from left hand side okay so you have to remove 4 and 2 to so, sabse pehle aap kaun se constant ko remove karenge the constant which is alone matlab jo constant variable ke sath nahi hai that is here 4 so first we remove 4 so 4 having minus sign if we take the same number with opposite sign agar hum same number le aur sign opposite le then it will cut and become zero so here minus 4 so what we can do we can add plus 4 but we can't add only plus 4 on left hand side agar aap koi number add karte hain subtract karte hain तो उसे आपको लेफ्ट हैंड साइड भी ऐड करना है और राइट right हैंड साइड भी ऐड करना है सिमिलरली अगर आप किसी नंबर का मल्टीप्लिकेशन या डिवीजन करते हैं तो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड करते हैं तो आपको उसे राइट हैंड साइड भी मल्टीप्लाई या डिवाइड करना है सो फर्स्ट हियर वी आर यूजिंग 
minus 4 we have to remove. So, minus 4 we have to remove by taking plus 4. So, what we are doing? Add plus 4 on both the side. So, equation is balance. Agar aap dono side plus 4 karte hain, to equation balance hogi. Now, add 4 on both side. So, it is 2x minus 4 plus 4 equal 8 plus 4 both side we add 4. Now this minus 4 and this plus 4 get cut. Now left 2x equal 8 plus 4 it is 12. Ab kya bacha hai aapke paas? 2x equal 12. Now we have to remove this 2. Ab hume is 2 ko atana hai. Now 2 and x having what sign? They have multiplication sign. So, multiplication kaise remove hoga? By division. Always you have to take opposite sign. Agar subtraction hai, then we are using addition sign. If multiplication, then we are using division. So, yahan aapko kisse divide karna hai? Divide both side by 2. So, 2x divided by 2 and 12 divided by 2. So, 2x upon 2, that means 2 and 2 cancel and here 2, 6 is 12. So, we get answer x equals 6. Okay. So, this is the first method how to solve an equation. Now, let's take its second method. Second method is known as transposing method. Okay. So, transposing for this Again, we take the same example, but we are doing this by using transposing method. Now, in transposing method, what you have to do? We have to transpose the number from left hand side to right hand side or from right hand side to left hand side. Aap transpose kar rahe hai, but aap direct usko ye nahi ki minus 4 ko aapne udhar transpose kar diya, so it is again minus 4. No. If you transpose the number from left hand side to right hand side, then its sign will change. Agar aap kisi number ko left side se right side par transpose karte hain, to uski sign change hogi. For example, minus transpose to right side, then it becomes plus. Plus transpose to right hand side, so it becomes minus. Then multiply transpose into divide and divide transpose into multiply. So, this one you have to remember. Ye aapko yaad rakhna hai in transposition method. So, let's start. Our equation is 2x minus 4 equal 8. So, here again first we transpose the number which is alone. Means which is not with the variable. So, minus 4 is not with the variable. So, sabse pehle hum kise transpose karenge? Minus 4 ko. So, 2x equal 8. This minus 4 will change into plus 4. Okay. Sign aapko number ke pehle dekhna hai. 4 ke aage sign kya hai? Minus. Okay. So, minus will change into plus. So, 2x equal 8 plus 4 it is 12. Now, you have to transpose this 2. So, 2 and x having multiplication sign. So, this one change into divide. So, x equal 12 divided by 2. That means 6. So, x equal 6. So, in both the case, we get the same answer. But both are different method. So, whichever method you feel easier, you can use it. Okay, now let's see few questions related with the exercise. Exercise 2.1. So, its first question is x minus 2 equal 7. So, here Again, we use the second method because second method is easier as compared to first. 
here you have to transpose minus 2 to right hand side. So we know this sign rules minus change into plus. So x equal 7 plus 2. So x equal 9. So the value of variable here 9 and 9 is our answer. Okay. Now let's see its second different different types of question we will see now. Its second is y plus 3 equal 10. Now what is the sign of constant here? Sign of constant here plus 3. Now plus 3 change into minus 3 when transpose on right hand side. So y equal 10 minus 3. So 10 minus 3 it is 7. So y equals 7 is the answer. Okay. Now let's see its next. Fifth one that is 6x equal 12. 6x equal 12 that means here 6 and x. Having which type of sign? 6x means 6 into x. Multiplication sign. So multiply when we transpose on other side then it becomes divide. So x equal 12 divided by 6 that is 6 to the 12. Okay. So in this way multiply transpose into divide. Now see its next. Sixth one it is t upon 5 equal 10. Now children's t upon 5 that means it is in divide. Okay. So divide when you transpose on right hand side then it becomes multiply. So t equal 10 multiplied by 5. So t equal 10 5 is a 50. So answer of variable is 50. Okay. So these are the different ways how to solve an equation. Okay. Let's see one more. Next one is 7x minus 9 equal 16. Now here left hand side 2 constant. Okay. So one by one you have to remove that constant. First we remove minus 9. Okay, because it is alone. So 7x equal 16 minus 9 change into plus 9. Now 7x equal 16 plus 9 it is 25. Okay, now you have to remove 7. So transpose 7 on right hand side. So 7 and x multiplication sign. So it will change into divide. So x equal 25 upon 7. So 25 upon 7 is the answer. So here we can use that we are transposing. So whatever number you are transposing you can write. Transposing 9 to RHS. RHS that means right hand side. So whichever number you transpose that you can mention here also that which number you are going to transpose. Okay. So these are all about the questions of exercise 2.1. Okay. Now next topic. Next topic is solving an equation when variables on both the side. Okay. Now here In first exercise you have seen that variable only present on one side either on left hand side or right hand side. Now second is solve an equation when variable is present on both the side. For this see one example. Okay. This is this questions are of Excess 2.3. Here you have given 
solve the equation and check your result. So first question is here 3x equal 2x plus 18. Now here what you are observing here 3x it is variable on left hand side and 2x is also variable which is on right hand side. It means variable on both the side. So this type of question how we can solve it? Here again we have to use this transposing method. For that you have to transpose this all the variables. Jitne bhi variables honge unko humko lana hai left hand side par and whatever constant are there that one on right hand side. So here 3x already on left hand side 2x having no sign that means plus sign. आपको नंबर के पहले वाली साइन देखना है अगर यहां साइन मेंशन नहीं है इट मींस इट इज प्लस सो इट विल चेंज इनटू माइनस इक्वल 18 नाउ 3x 2x इट इज 1x सो 1 नो नीड टू मेंशन हियर सो वी कैन राइट हियर x 18 नाउ यू हैव टू चेक हियर रिजल्ट आल्सो सो हाउ टू डू चेक to check the result, we have to put the value of x in the given equation. So, your equation is 3x equal 2x plus 18. Now, we put the value of x. So, we write here, put x equal 18 in the given equation. So, here 3x, that means 3 into x. So, 3 into 18 equal 2x that means 2 into 18 plus 18. Now, 3 into 18, 18 3 is a 54. Now, 2 into 18 that means 36 plus 18. Now, this is 54 and 36 plus 18 again 54. So, what we are getting here? Left hand side equal to right hand side. That means both sides are equal. If both sides are equal, it means our answer is correct. And if sometimes this LHS and RHS not comes equal, it means you have your answer is wrong. So, you have to solve the equation again. Okay? So, let us see its next one. It is 5t minus 3 equal 3t minus 5. Here what is the variable? Here variable is t. We have to find the value of t. So, for that we have to take all the variable on left hand side and all the constant on right hand side. So, here 5t is already on left hand side. Ye par hai. Aapko kisko lana hai? 3t ko. 3t having plus sign. So, plus change into minus. So, 5t minus 3t equal this minus 5 as it is. Now, this minus 3 come on right hand side. So, it is plus 3. Now, 5t minus 3t it is 2t and minus plus minus but sign of greater number greater number is 5 so 5 minus 3 it is 2 but sign of minus now transpose 2 on right hand side so 2 and t again having multiplication sign so it change into divide so t equal minus 2 upon 2 so, t equal minus 1. So, our answer is minus 1. Now, you have to check that your answer is correct or not. To checking our answer, what we have to do? We have to put the value of t in the given equation. So, check Equation B1 equation is 5t minus 3 equal 3t minus 5. So, put t 
टी इक्वल माइनस वन टी की वैल्यू आपको माइनस वन रखना है नाउ फाइव टी दैट मीन्स फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टी सो टी इज माइनस वन माइनस थ्री इक्वल थ्री टी सो टी अगेन माइनस वन देन माइनस फाइव फाइव इंटू माइनस वन माइनस फाइव दिस इज माइनस थ्री एंड थ्री वन जा थ्री बट साइन ऑफ माइनस एंड अगेन हियर माइनस फाइव नाउ माइनस माइनस प्लस बट साइन ऑफ माइनस अगेन हियर माइनस माइनस प्लस बट साइन ऑफ माइनस सो फाइव प्लस थ्री इट इज एट सो वॉट यू आर गेटिंग विथ साइन बोथ द आंसर आर सेम माइनस एट इक्वल माइनस एट दैट मीन्स लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इक्वल राइट हैंड साइड सो इन दिस वे यू हैव टू सॉल्व एन इक्वेशन सो टूडे यू लर्न हाउ टू सॉल्व एन इक्वेशन वैन वेरिएबल ऑन वन साइड एंड वैन वेरिएबल ऑन बोथ द साइड सो नाउ यू हैव टू डू प्रैक्टिस ऑफ दैट सम नाउ रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर वी विल सी इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल नाउ टेक केयर टिल देन टेक केयर एंड बाय बाय